In the previous video, we discussed about the molecular structure of proteasome. If you want to watch that video first, the link is in the description. Now, in this video, we'll be discussing about the immunoproteasome and thymoproteasome. Here in this diagram, we can see the 26S proteasome, that is the standard proteasome. It's having 19S as a regulatory subunit and 20S as a core subunit. The 20S core shown in the diagram has got two beta subunits that are sandwiched between the two alpha subunits. Now, in order to get the immunoproteasome and thymoproteasome formation, we need to get some modifications in beta subunits. The modification occurs in 20S core of beta subunits as depicted in the diagram. And it must be noted that only the catalytic residues of beta subunit rings are modified. Moving further to the next diagram, we can see the standout 26S proteasome. It's having catalytic residues as beta 1, beta 2, beta 5 from the first ring of 26S core and beta 5, beta 2 and beta 1 from the second ring of beta subunits. So in nutshell, we can say there are only three residues that are catalytic residues which are substituted by its isoforms in amino and thymoproteasome. Now let's see in detail how the formation occurs and what are these isoforms substituted in these two class of proteasomes. It all starts from the 26S proteasome, either the 19S plus 20S form or the 19S plus 20S plus 19S form, which is actually the 30S proteasome. So we have here the 26S proteasome. Now first of all, cytokine induction occurs. The cytokines which induce the formation are TNF alpha and TNF gamma. We see in the diagram upon cytokine inductions, proteasome residues are replaced by distinct isoforms like beta 1i, beta 2i, and beta 5i, and this forms as the immunoproteasome. In the same way, same cytokine induction in the thymus produces the thymoproteasome. Why we get isoforms in the form of beta 1i, beta 2i, and beta 5t. So there is little bit of difference here. The beta 5t is different from immunoproteasome. That makes it the thymoproteasome. So this is the brief outlook of formation of immunoproteasome and thymoproteasome with the differences in the structure of catalytic isoforms from beta subunit rings. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon. And also make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.